Well, a big day at the barn schedule today. I have now 16, uh, 16 trainers to go with. Counting Blanton's Blue, we're going to tighten him up for next Monday and then ship him out. Uh, Jared Bothwell is going to take him and really don't care to Vernon Downs to race next, uh, a week from yesterday, so six days from now. Um, Mark has already said he'll be at Vernon Downs that day, so he'll be driving the horses. We have Scioto Down Stakes that night. So uh, it feels like it's all beginning, right? The summer is beginning. I know what happens. You know, we start easing into the three-year-old season, and it's not bad. You know, we're running around doing our work, and then the babies qualify, and it's pure chaos. So um, that is, we're trying our best to plan everything out a little bit better. We're getting a little bit better look at how, how everybody seems right now. So although the paths that we, we believe they're going to be on are not cemented, they're beginning to be be, be, be paved, so to speak. Um, a lot of people asking about Memento Mori. Is he going to New York? Is he going to Kentucky? My initial response to that, and, and still is, is I believe he's going to Kentucky. I don't really want to ship him all over New York. I know he's a, a smaller horse. He'd probably get around a half. I'm sure he would. But uh, he's also a fast horse. And as of right now, now we haven't seen him, you know, trot a half in 57. Or we haven't seen him, you know, trot in 57 yet. So I can't really speak to what he'll certainly do or where he'll certainly be. But as of right now, I believe that he'll be heading to Kentucky. Um, bigger questions that I still have to answer for myself and for you, our clients, Westland Warrior, uh, Grand Slam Deal. These are horses that are dual eligible. Where are they going to end up? So we're trying to get to the bottom of that right now, or at least tip to one way or the other, at least start down one path. Uh, and if we have to pivot, we'll pivot. So today and days like today are gonna are going to start to tell that story. I was really, really happy with what I saw last week. This will be a follow-up trip for a number of horses today. So I'm eager to watch them go. Now, last night we had two horses racing. We had uh, Brace for Landing who, every, every time I make a move with this horse, I'm left feeling like I made the wrong move with this horse. You know, we could have sent him to Southern Ohio. We could have sent him to, there's no cakewalks anywhere. Could have sent him to Minnesota. <clears throat> that seemed like the, the best option at the time. And then, uh, a ride to Ontario, uh, materialized. And I said, well, I, I know he can't do in the, the 28, 24, uh, maybe even the 23,000 class that he was in last night. Those are good horses. But we got to figure out where he can go, right? And I guess if, if I can't be certain where he can go, at least we should be mildly certain of where he can't go. And uh, Oak Grove not being able to fill the preferred two or the class below it that he actually fit uh, was detrimental to us being down there. He raced good a couple of times, but then ran into a situation where he had to race in the open. He's not an open trotter. Pennsylvania, the Meadows seemed okay, but quite frankly... You know, we had horses for the Meadows, right? It's going to interfere with what we're trying to do with Kings County or with Stay Close. So there wasn't a ton of options in that regard for for um, for Brace for Landing. Sure, I could look at the East Coast, you know. I'm sure he'd get around Yonkers. Got around Northfield pretty good. Those are all options. But when I had an opportunity to send him back where it all started, back to Ontario, where he would get an opportunity to be grow up and stretch out a little more, as I say, grow up, he's about five now. <laughs> uh, no, he's four. Isn't he? Four, five. I don't know. Um, it's no cakewalk there either. So last night was a tough crew. He didn't get into town until maybe a couple of days before uh, before his race. So not the, I would say, not the perfect lead up to a. Um, not the perfect lead up to a uh, to a race by any means, but at the same token, we, as I like to say, we play the hand we are dealt. So we'll see how uh, Brace for Landing comes back next week. I'm certainly not going to judge him or, or or the Ontario situation on last night. Um, looks like money, man. Oh man, he uh, he looked very very good. I I, I saw again. I, I was doing a million things and I missed the race. Uh, and I saw a message pop up about how good he raced. And I know he was in with Fashion Frenzy and those horses. So must have been a heck of a mile. I see James get away last. And I'm like, 
how's this going to play out? I don't, I don't know if this is going to be a, a great race for him. Halfway around the last turn, I thought there was no hope. And then halfway down the lane, he just started steamrolling. Man, what a huge kick on the end of the mile. I think he was charted, what, 52-1? and 26-1 and on the end of it? That is one hell of a mile. And uh, not shocking. I mean, we know he's a good horse, but he hasn't been... He hasn't been um, at the top of his game the last couple of starts, so I was a little bit surprised and happily surprised. The horse raced great, so really happy for everybody with the looks like money crew. Um, eh, a little frustrated a little bit with with Brace, but again, in a tough class, only getting there a couple of days before the race. I'll, I'll, I'll give him a pass for this week. Um, as I said, the babies are going today. We have some horses racing tonight. Uh, two tracks tomorrow. We have uh, the Meadows, Ready for Landing, uh, Lovers Play, and not Flash Fly. Who's the other one? Apparently, I can only get two horses into the three. Uh, we have three horses tomorrow at at uh, three horses tomorrow at the Meadows, and then we have uh, at least three here tomorrow night at Northfield Park. Um, so we'll see what gets in. Flash flies in on Thursday. Um, anyway, a host of horses racing over the next week again. But my focus, as you can tell, uh, squarely today is on the babies. So 16 are training this morning. Uh, 15 babies in Blanton's Blue. I will give you a complete update of how they did after this morning's, uh, this morning's uh, festivities. <laughs> So I'll talk to you all later. I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are. The weather is beautiful here. Hopefully it is wherever you are. Take care.